Hello, hello. Welcome back to uh, my channel. It's Connie's here. Uh, today, I'm going to do a journal with me uh, session with uh, everyone. Uh, like I said in last channel, last episode, uh, last video, uh, in my travel journal flip-through, I'm planning to do more um, journaling uh, video uh, for my YouTube channel this year. Just as, I guess as a personal goal, uh, to share my uh, uh, share some of the things that I do with the creative community um, here. Now first of all, I would like to apologise how uh, the ink in my hand. This morning I was uh, working around with uh, inking some of my fountain pens and uh, I got ink all over my hand so I, and I couldn't wash it off. So uh, just apologise for that. But let's start this. Now I didn't fully plan on what I'm going to do today, but uh, this video is... Uh, uh, it's in conjunction for my blog post this month for the stationery selection, um, which is titled, um, hang on, I've got it written here, uh, The Fear of a Blank Page. Okay, so uh, I thought it, it's a pretty interesting topic to dive into because uh, we all have this uh, feeling about uh, starting a new notebook in the new year when you, uh, you, are, you get so excited about this new notebook and then you uh, open it up for the first page, first page and you look at the page, the blank page, and you're thinking, Yes, I'm so excited about signing this new notebook. And then yet you stare at it for five minutes and then 10 minutes come along. You have all your stationery in front of you and you have no idea where to start. And then you're like, okay, I might just go to make myself a cup of tea and come back to it. And then and then it linger on and on and on. So uh, that's something that I want to uh, talk about today. I'll be talking about this uh, in my blog post briefly. But um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, do a spread with, uh, with all of you in my brand new uh, travel uh, travels notebook. Yes, my 2020 travels notebook is going to be the limited, uh, Prada limited edition uh, in black. Um, I have changed my uh, elastics to the golden elastics that it comes in. Uh, I was a little bit iffy about getting the Prada edition initially, but after seeing a couple of people have it on, on um, Instagram, I'm like, okay i actually quite like it so i got it and i'm glad i did because the leather is really uh, beautiful uh it actually you can, if you can see it here in the youtube uh, in, the, in the in the camera you can see that um you can see that there's some scratch mark here dint here dint here and there i uh, actually quite like um the the things that things made on the cover so uh, and, and i don't i have a black uh travelers notebook and i really, really i don't really like it but where's this black cover i, I I'm, I'm loving it i've Taken it at once, and I use it once, and I'm so glad that I actually got it. All right, just let's start. So, like I said before, I use it. I took it out once uh, for a journal meetup last week, and I already used it once. Technically, it's not really a, bl a, uh, a brand new notebook anymore, but I did leave my front page untouched. So, technically, it's still a brand new book. Uh, not really, but you know what I mean. So that was um, the spread I did when I was in journal with me. I uh, mean, in my last journal meetup last weekend with Chloe, but um. Today, I'm going to try to get the cover done uh, for 2020. Um, so the Prada Unlimited Edition actually came in with this gorgeous uh, blue uh, Prada notebook, but I chose not to use it because um, one, of, one of the reasons is the fear of the blank page again. Uh, but also, it's, it's not a paper that I'm used to. I quite like the green and the dark green. So, um, I just thought that for a starter for 2020, I'm going to start with something that I'm more familiar with. Then I can move on to something that is uh, more different, like the blue paper. So uh, the insert I use is a customized insert that I made myself. Um, I took apart, like I, I, I mentioned this in my last video on my travel uh, journal flip through, that I took apart four inserts and I rebound them into four different books with four different type paper. So in this insert, I have grid paper, I have craft paper, grid paper, dog grid, as well as uh, cream blank paper, all in one insert. I personally love it simply because it allows uh, you to approach each of the spread quite differently each time you have a different page. Um, it's sort of more exciting because you've got a new page, oh, you, you know, if you have all blank page, it sometimes is making it even more difficult for you to start with. If you have a page, uh, each page is uh, quite different. Um, it allows you to uh, add different things to it and and uh, you can look at it in a very different light, I guess. Uh, so, uh, so far I've been working for me and then really encouraged me to uh, continue with an insert. So um, today what I'm going to do is uh, we talk about the fee of blank page. I mean, guess that's number one. Uh, choose an insert that you like and uh, try to vary the page to start 
to start the year because then it will help you to it will encourage you to continue to use that notebook. Um, okay, so um, when you come to a brand new notebook like the beginning of the year, I think obviously you would like to. I'm not going to do the front cover today. I'm just going to do just a. Uh, actually, I might do a front cover today. I'm, like, I'm going to do a front cover today. All right, I changed my mind. I'm doing a front cover today. Um, but when you come to a brand new uh, spread, it's important that number one, find your focus. So. I think it's important that you choose something that you, uh, uh, I don't know, something that will help you to focus on, uh, either a theme or a quote um, or an event. If it is, obviously, this is a front cover, I won't be choosing an event, but like, for example, the one that I have uh, with uh, Chloe, this is a journal meetup, I have uh, my, my event, it's my focus. But for this cover, obviously, year 2020 is my focus, um, but I'm going to choose a theme for this uh, to start the spread. So, I have chosen uh, my theme for uh, this year. Uh, I'm no, it's a year of the rat. But I've decided that when I look through all my stationery stash, I found that there's one common. Actually, there's a couple, but one of them is a, a, a things that I own a lot, and I thought that mm, maybe I should just uh, make use of those items to start my 2020 notebook, um, and that's this mushroom i have a tons of mushroom theme stationaries i don't know why i even got brought myself a mushroom ceramic statues when i was in um Ljubljana, just because i saw it i thought oh, that's super cute in the photo so i have to get it so i bought it um anyhow so i put it here just for the memento um yes so i thought it would be great to start with the mushroom uh, use mushroom as my theme for 2020 and um i haven't actually planned this <laughs> like i said i haven't planned this so i'm going to play around with it today um now once you've chosen your theme it will be a great idea to um just start with something that you're comfortable i think that's the second point start with something that you're most comfortable uh, not everyone is a writer uh, and for example today i'm doing cover uh, it's unlikely that i'm going to uh, write a lot so um i'm going to just um just start with uh, uh something mushroomy so Let's just see what, what which mushroom stem I should use. Now I I'm 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 embarrassed by this because I got tons of them, so mm, it's gonna be hard to choose. Uh, uh -huh. it's also a good idea once you've chosen your theme that you have all your materials uh, in front of your uh, in front of like, like you know you select all the materials that you want to use for that particular spread. So you limit your choice and you're not freaking out by the whole thing. So uh, I've chosen these. These are the Lin Ling. Um, Ling Chia Ling uh, stems, which I have like a lot of, <laughs> you can see. Uh, I have more in front of me, I just don't want to put it uh, put it in the screen um, uh, more in front of me for now. But uh, I got this from, um, actually when I was in uh, Berlin, I asked uh, Anna from uh, um, Kyoku to uh, bring, uh, bring her shop to me and I bought these mushrooms mushroom stickers from her and uh hang on just open this up since we're doing this whole mushroom theme things so might just do the grand opening of this packet let's have a look what's in there so oh. now these are absolutely gorgeous stickers they are stickers actually i don't know how it works i don't know it peels i think i think i might have to cut it so these are these are actually um hmm. I think they are stickers, and I think you might have to cut it. So uh, I might have to chop some up. Uh, I also have chosen, I got this from AliExpress, something really quite cheap. It's just a vellum paper of different type of mushroom. You can find them quite easily uh, on, uh, on AliExpress. It's just something cheap, but it was super cute. So I, I got some uh, that I thought I'll be able to use. Um, what else I'm going to use? Oh, yeah. I also love the uh, Kawasaki uh, water seal as well as oh, just hold on a second i want to show you this as well the classic key all the classic key uh, uh cards i have them all the labels and i use them a lot in a lot of my journals um so i'll be using those uh as well as a lot of i love a lot i like muted color a lot so as not as well as some of the classic key um uh, classic key muted tone washi tapes so i'm gonna put that aside um of course, this is the stationery selection uh, theme video. So I'll be also using uh, some of the some of the item that I got from the stationery selection box um, last week. I mean, last month and this month. 
to do my journal page just because uh, I thought uh, the stuff that the leads include in um, the last couple months box are really great for setting up for uh, the journal. So like they have a, they seriously have this great new year theme to them. So I'm going to try to include that in, um, in my spread. So even though I'm going to do the mushroom theme on here, I think I'm going to start, I'm going to continue with that in the next page where I'm going to do like a, a new year celebration spread. Oh my God, I just make up my mind just now on what I'm actually going to do. All right, this is how I prepare I am guys. So let's just start. All right, what did I say before? I said something about after you've chosen your theme, you need to, uh, you should begin with something that you're most comfortable with. So with this, I guess uh, the most comfortable thing is, let's just start with a stem. I'm going to use this stem here. Now, I don't really like a page. I use a writing board um, to go behind my page just because it provides some support uh, before you start. Now, I probably need two boards because uh, I'm... Oh, hang on, I'll be, I won't be using that anyway, so I'm going to leave that there. So I'm going to start with something that is um, I'm most comfortable with, uh, something like this. I'm going to start with this here. Okay, cool. So um, using the stems I have, uh, the mid stem pad I have, uh, I'm going to start with uh, gray color. So I'm sure some of you have, I mean, I'm at this long with my journaling. I'm sure some of you have already done your cover page. We'd really like to know what kind of theme that you guys have chosen for your 2020 journal. journal. Oh, there you go. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Now, this is pretty cute. I might just add a little bit of, it's a nice mushroom color. I just get a little bit of uh, tape over it. Um, another thing is, I always often find that once you start off with something that you're comfortable with, you're going to start building up layers as you go. And it's not something that I guess anyone can tell you what to do. It's up to the individuals. So like for example this, I'm going to take a little bit of washi tape over it. Um, it creates some kind of layers. And I'm thinking that it, look, it lends itself into something like a label. So I'm going to use a label to go over that too, just because I can. And I think it looks cool. Uh, just bear with me. All right. I hope this is what I'm supposed to do because I actually have no idea am I supposed to cut this out or not. Um, uh, but I am cutting it out. It might be a good idea to, uh, for anyone who are planning to do a YouTube channel, plan your YouTube channel a little bit better than I do, because um, this is a uh, little bit embarrassing if it doesn't work. Hang, hang on a second. It works. It is, yes, you're supposed to actually cut it out. So I'm going to stick that one on there. Now, oh, this is looking great already. So you can see that I just, I start up with something that I'm most comfortable with, which is that stems there. And then... I just start layering and I have already, I feel like I have already done something that I'm quite happy with there. Now for the, um, I'm going to put this aside, it's also very important to keep your uh, workspace in order, I feel like, because this is what I do, is I keep everything in order so I can uh, continue with what I'm doing. Um, without a lot of interference. I often have a tray somewhere that I can just dump things on, so therefore uh, I can keep track of what I'm doing. Uh, I'm already lost. Okay, so rubbish over here, great. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to uh, do my next part. I just realized that it is 2020, but yet I haven't got 2020 written on that yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do the 2020 uh, uh, mark. Now, I, I have decided I'm going to use the uh, 2020, I'm going to use the uh, rub on stickers that came in the pack with the my travels notebook um pack the i, I don't know where, which year this come from i think it came from the 2000 i think this is from the oh it is from the 2020 pack so this is toward 2000 sorry guys this is 2020 pack and it comes with uh, a set of um rub on stickers i love those rub on stickers uh, actually in fact i found some rub on stickers in my local art shop um last week which i want to show you Not my stickers organized stickers uh pack I thought, look at that, look at this, this is my, 
Rutland stickers, vintage Rutland stickers are found in my log art shop. I hope it works. I'm not sure if it still works. Um, the lady said they will, but uh, let's just test it out before I use it. Uh. I actually like the. Um, I actually decided I'm going. To, I'm going to. I'm actually going to use the Traveler's Factory one because I actually quite like the delicate look. So I just stick with that. So 2020. I'm going to um, mark where I'm going to go. Okay, terrific. So, um, yeah, put the scissors away. I love these scissors. I this, that was these scissors were came in last year with one of the stationery selection box. I use it all the time. So, all right, so I just put that on here. I feel like there's something required underneath. I wasn't. I'm not quite sure. Should I put something underneath there? Um, Sometimes I will cut a few things out and then uh, I place it on there first and before I actually do any gluing or sticking down um, so I know uh, if, it's, if, we, if I'm happy to, with it before I start. I also feel like that um, I will need one of these on here. I think this is the first, I think this is the first um, page of the year about, about uh, uh, Happy New Year or some kind of, I'm not sure what it means, but but that looked like a really good good uh, page. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I, I'm, I don't have a habit of peeling every day off. I just peel off the day that I want. I, I should really hang these up and peel the, each day off as I go. But nah, I haven't done that. So I might put that on the front cover here. Yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut this off. Yeah, mushroom there, and then I'm going to use some of these stickers as well. This is this is a special uh, edition that came in the last, I think last month's box. I actually love classicy so much. I was so excited when I saw this new color because uh, I have both the green and the red one, which is the regular uh, line that uh, um, classicy has, and uh, I'm actually super excited when I saw that uh, Needs managed to get a special edition uh, out. Um, so I'm going to be using this some, somewhere once I stick these guys down. Um, with these, I might just add a layer of stems behind it, and I'm going to use the sorry, these uh, little stem beans that I'm, I have for the um, for the background. Uh, what stem should I use? I think I might use the. Um, I think I'm going to use the. Uh, stems that I received from uh, last month's box for this. I'm going to use it, use, use the, um, to go with that pink kish color, I'm going to use a uh, sort of a pink color for the background. I mean, it's got really lovely message on the stems. If you, uh, if you go on uh, Nits um, unboxing, she explained each of the meaning. So you can go there and take a look, but I'm going to use it like a pattern here. No, oh, this is lovely. I'm going to stem it twice. I always like to use this to stem remind me of fireworks. I think um, Lara Thirties said that this is her design, and she she said how I use, well, I use it once in my uh, hobby beauty, and she mentioned something that it looks like fireworks, and I I I, I do think so. So um, yeah, I like to stem it twice to just give me that little bit of layers. I'm quite happy with that, and I might just put a little bit of uh, washings there too to just give it a lift underneath that. Just hold it to hold everything together. It 
if anyone have ever received and oh, if you have bought the Travel Travels Factories uh, 2020 pack, it comes with this dot where you can use to highlight your date. But I've been using it to um, uh, as, as stickers to put on um, a, to decorate my planner because I really like the round the round dots. Um, I'm going to use these to to just create layers of interest in my page. I just think they're the most the gorgeous, delicate little stickers. Um, okay, so now I'm going to do is I'm going to add this on as well because I really love this. Um, now, am I done? I don't think so because I still got this one to do, which I'm going to stick it on here. Now, I'm thinking now that last month, Last month, um, what was it? Last month or this month? I think this might be um, last month. Is this month or last month? Yes. I think um, that's when we received this envelope. Uh, I'm going to share one of these with, uh, with someone else, but I'm going to keep one for myself, uh, which I'm going to keep it on here. Actually, it's going to stick this on. And uh, to keep things that uh, I think uh, will be useful, like uh, pockets, for uh, little, bit, little bits and pieces uh, throughout the year. So I'm going to actually going to, um, I'm actually going to decorate. Is that's got text, a lot of texture there, so it's not very good with decorating, but I can actually stick stickers on there, I guess. Now, knowing we're having the a mushroom theme, so maybe I should um, decorate this with a little bit of a mushroom. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the back of this, stick it down. You can see that how unplanned I am with what I'm doing. So I'm using a dot liner, a uh, Kokuyo, Kokuyo dot liner, um, which Nits have included in the past box, but I've run out of it. I, I love the dot liner and I think Kokuyo's dot liner is among the best dot liner you can get. Um, and they are refillable as well if you can ma you manage to find the refiller. I, every time I can't get in Australia here, so every time I go back to um, go to Hong Kong or Japan, I will uh, stock up this dot liner just because they're so good. You can see that it just stick right there. So now what happened is now I have in my in, in my insert I have a pocket which I can actually uh, use for throughout the year for storing uh, small bits and pieces and notes and all that. I'm not going to stick these on there uh, as a celebration for the year. And I think it might be a good idea. Or they might be there. They might be better. Mm. I move this up a little bit. Can I move it? Yeah. So that's how good the dot liner is because if you're not happy with the positioning of your um, of your envelope, you can actually reposition it. I'm going to stick it down here so it's like a little bit more balanced. Um, okay. So I'm going to use my dot liner. Let's stick that down. Mine's a lock heart version, so it has lock heart on it. There you go, that's lovely. And I'm going to put a bit of mushroom over it. I've set myself a couple of goals this year. One of the goals I set for um, for myself is that I need to learn to use uh, my supplies, so not be too precious about it and not saving it. Because in the past, I have had this really bad habit of uh, uh, not wanting to use certain thing because I worry that I'll use it all up and then I won't um, I won't be able to get it again. But the th thing is, if I don't use it, then it's no point of even having all these lovely things. So one of the things that I've been trying to do. Uh, this year is to actually use my supply and not be too precious about it. And I think uh, doing this really, really help. So I'm going to uh, add a little bit of washi tape to just, uh, you can see that now so far I only have used one time washi tape throughout the entire uh, entire spread because it sort of give it a sense of unity. I guess now it sounds like a teacher. 
just because, oh no, I lost my mushroom, oh no, it's here, great. Um, you can see that layering is really handy because it really brings everything together. It's a washi paper so you can see through it. There you go. Now I'm quite happy with that. I don't know about you. I don't know about everyone, but I'm really quite happy with it. It'd be nice if I have something there. I might do something about that later on, but for now I'm going to leave it. Now I think that it's at this point I'm quite happy with the amount of stuff I have already on my uh, front page. Uh, it's looked together, it looked finished. The one thing I might add to it is that I might uh, write down a quote um, uh, in uh, some pretty hand lettering. So uh, sometimes I use this particular one, um, but we also have, uh, you can also use the, this is the uh, for the Mosque, Tombow for the Mosque uh, brush pens. You can also use the click up pens, but I personally love the uh, Shikiori brush pens, which came in the uh, previous, uh, the, uh, the stationery selection box. Uh, these brush pens are fantastic. I haven't got a quote yet, so I'm not going to write anything on it, but I'm planning to actually write something on it later on. So I'm going to leave it for now. Um, now I'm going to uh, move it on to the next. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, the camera sort of cut off early on, so um, I have to uh, stop halfway through and move in this. So uh, now we're back, ready right back to. Uh, um, where to get back to this. So, just, uh, I was talking about brush pens before, about writing a quote. While I was fixing the camera, I managed to find a quote that I think that I might include in um, uh, on, on, uh, in, in this spread. So, I'm going to write it in. So, um, because, I mean, I found a few different quotes that I would like to include in it, but uh, I don't feel that a long quote is suitable for this space. I really think that sometimes a spread do um, look better with some empty space. So I'm going to write my quote in a small section here and uh, it's going to be a small quote. I'm a little bit late, we are already in February, it's January past, but 2020 I was hoping to be a good year. Uh, it still could be a good year but so far uh, with the devastation around uh, Australia with the bushfire and the coronavirus uh, outbreak in China and in Asia, uh, it doesn't uh, feel like a very good start at all. However, we should uh, be always stay positive and I feel that um, sometimes things are difficult but yet uh, there will be some kind of a solution uh, coming along along uh, uh, coming coming along the way um, and we should um, treat every uh, treasure every single moment that we have that uh, we are still living and we are still enjoying life and that would make the most out of it. So I've chosen a quote that say Every moment is a fresh beginning uh, for this front page to just uh, put my, I guess, uh, uh, to to uh, stay positive for the rest of the year, to remind myself to stay positive. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, start off with uh, writing in pencil first. I am not a very, uh, I'm not very good with my, uh, I'm not very confident with my uh, brush pen skills. So. Um, I often, I often start everything with, uh, with with pencil, and then I move on to something a little bit more, uh, more permanent afterwards. So let's just start with it, with this. I think it's because of the delicate nature of this red. My um, writing will be. Uh, I'm going to use cursive writing, and I'm going to um, uh, create. I uh, use really fine lines for this particular quote. Now, I'm quite happy with that, so I'm going to now choose my colour and what I'm going to use for this particular... This is a Muji book that I um, constantly... I always have on my desk for like testing out things, you can see. Uh, that colour is good. That colour. Definitely not that. That colour is...
Okay. And also a little bit of practice before I start. Now, because this is a brush pen, so it got pretty uh, fine tip if you need to, and if you don't press hard, uh, it can go quite large. Really, it's designed for larger lettering. And I'm doing something quite small here, but I still like the whole brush look, so, and I really like the color, so I'm going to use this. Let's just see. All right, I can do it. So uh, I didn't even see that I didn't really follow uh, the pencil mark that closely. Um, like I said, I'm not super precious about every spread I do. I'm just uh, hoping for the best and relaxed about what I'm doing. And if I muck it up too bad, you know, um, I can always cover it up with a little bit of washi tape. Yeah, that's why you have so many washi tape because they can do so much for you. But I'm quite happy with this, what I've got there. I'm going to let it dry for a second and I'm going to clean it up. I have smudged a little bit. Oh well. Okay, so now I have now complete my spread. Um, I might actually add a little bit more of the uh, uh, stickers on it because I quite like the look of uh, layers. It'll make it look like a little, a little bit of bokeh as well and also draw attention to the quote. Um, just all around the whole spread just to bring it together a little bit more. Just draw your eye to everything. And then the final touches. Now, there we go. We have our 2020 uh, cover done, complete. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I will be uh, hoping to post more um, later on so hopefully, hopefully i'll be able to pose uh every single week i might be able to upload a journal with me uh video um thank you for watching and i shall see you next time bye